Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I'm back with our Ink of the Week summary. Last week we talked about testing out the um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, my Nebula. It's a broad 14 karat pen with my, um, I'll show you the ink. I show this every time. The CWM Idwall. Anyway, um, I really like that ink. I've tried it in other pens, and I prefer it in other pens, not so much in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. It just, um, when I first wrote, my first impression was it was nice enough, but not a real gushy or wet flow. Um, liked better with other pens. I wasn't sure what to check for my like or dislike box. Um, I do like this ink. But I like it, like I said, better in other pens. I think I had it in Alami or Twisby and preferred it in those pens. Um, so I'm not sure if I would buy it. I love it and I've totally enjoyed using it. And I'm glad that I still have quite a bit more to play around with. I'm just trying to find some inks that work well in a variety of my pens. So I guess I could say yes, I would buy it for other pens, but no, I wouldn't buy it if I wanted to use it in my, um, let me find my pen. I wouldn't buy it for the Sailor Pro Gear Slam. It just seemed a little bit too, too dry in that pen. So right now I have removed the ink and I have it waiting. Doesn't this look pretty? I'm so enjoying these pen cases. Um, so I'm, I'm still working on finding the ink that I love for my Sailor. That one was not good for that, so I would buy it for other pens, not for this pen. And it made me think maybe I should try like my Yama, what is it, Yama Budo, the Orochizuku ink in there, because that's a nice wet ink. Maybe that would flow a little better, more smoothly from there. Um, it also worked well on Tomoe River Paper, um, I wrote that it was nice flow and smooth on this Tomoe River, but um, on some of the other papers, not as much. It seemed like it was kind of controlled, though, like, I don't know what well-behaved inks means exactly, but if I had to define it, it would be what this is. Very pleasant, a good writing experience, but not my favorite. I do love the depth of the color of this ink. Um... But more what I was evaluating here was, do I like that ink in that pen? So, um, yeah, I've already said, it, and then I wrote, it worked best on the Cosmo Airlight and the 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. Maybe a little less of a pleasant writing experience on the heavier weight Tomoe River. So this week I'm trying something different. Um, I will try to get back next week with an evaluation of the upcoming inks, but we're also going to have guests for about two weeks. Um, I have a son coming in from Italy with his wife and daughter, and I just don't know what the days are going to look like, so I kind of have a feeling I won't have too much time for making videos. Um, and this is a granddaughter that I've only met once when she was six months old. So I'm really excited to see her um, and the family as well. So anyhow, this week, I'm gonna focus on three new samples that I've shown you, I believe, but I have the Vinta Maharlika, Ackermann's um, SBRE Brown, I think it's called Dutch Masters, and the Diamine Edition, Blue, Blue Edition Winter Miracle. Um, I just sampled those right here, and my immediate first impressions were very favorable on all three of those. I have been using the um, Diamine Winter Miracle in my Twisby really already, but I just wanted to kind of more officially look at it. And then I put the Vinta Maharlika in my um, Twisby 1.1 stub. And it was just like super duper gushy there and wet and flowy and really, really fun to write with. But almost like, ah, it's like a little bit too much. But as I wrote with it more after filling it, it, it kind of leveled out. 
And I noticed that um, a while back I tried the Organic Studio Nitrogen. And I would say they have a similar look. I think that probably um, this one is has much more flow. And it seems like you get... It's under the light here, so there's a lot of the sheening showing. This seems like a little more of a subtle sheen, the Organics Studio Nitrogen, and this sheen is much bigger on this paper. I have been writing with it on other papers and liking it. So some of these I'm, I've kind of gotten into a little bit, but I want to do more of official review after I've tried it for a week or so. One interesting note, though, was that the, um, let's see, okay, I'm getting my pens mixed up. The um, Winter Miracle, the Blue Edition Winter Miracle is in my purple Twisby. That's this one here, and it looks almost like I'm just seeing the green sheen. When I'm writing in a more large fashion, I get the dark, dark, dark purple with little tips of green at the end, like where a letter comes up when you do a capital E, not a capital E, you do a cursive E, comes up and there's that little blotch of, little spot of green. Here it's really sheening green, but typically when I'm writing, I'm getting such a dark purple um, that it almost looks black, but it's a very deep purple. It's been a very pleasant ink. I've liked it a lot. I mentioned when I showed you the samples that I was like, why didn't I order that ink? Because it says it's an average flow on the website, um, Van Ness Pens. But I think it's a, a very, um, a little bit higher than average flow. Really been liking that. And I wrote here, it works well on even Amazon paper. Feels really good on this Tomoe River paper and looks practically black but I like that, it's just a nice, interesting, deep, deep purple. So I will talk more about the SBRE brown as I use it, maybe just summarize next time we come back if I would decide to buy those. Um, so my, my focus this week is on these Twisbees. So I have the SBRE brown in the clear Twisby, and I think that looks really neat. It reminds me a lot of Ancient Copper, but when I wrote them side by side, uh, Ancient Copper has a lot more of a red tone. This is definitely like a golden brown, very pleasant at first. So I'm excited to give this a little bit more writing. And then the, my uh, purple Twisby has the Winter Miracle and um, the 1.1 stub Twisby has the Vinta Maharlika. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I added the Maharlika also to my um, Golden Espresso. And there, it's turning out really blue. This has been really nice too. So another goal is for me to find several ink possibilities for my Cavecos, which I was having trouble with when I wasn't using the right kind of inks. And then I have my, excuse me, cement gray Twisby still inked up with the Iroshizuku Takisumi. And I love that on any paper I write on. So that, that will stay like that for a while. So that is all for now. Um, I guess we will catch you next time, maybe next week, and maybe not for a couple weeks, but just thought I'd pop in and and show you what I have inked up and what I'm going to focus on. It's like going to be like a Twisby week. This is a, a little side note. These are the ones I'm trying, you know, very similar pens with three new ink colors. And um, so far, just the little dabbling in it, it's been very favorable. And I do love these cases. If you're on the fence about it, I say, try it. They're great. I don't know. I'm really enjoying them, and I'm happy that they have both. So this one is my storage uninked and this is the ones I'm using typically not more than five okay that's all for now I'll stop while I'm ahead and quit rambling hope you have a great Labor Day weekend and we'll see you soon take care